with all sun and games until the thunderstorm rolls. Uh, it's a little. Rest of us. So we're still running. 26 knots, solid. The engine's warmed up. Pretty much have all electronics put in the oven. Earlier that day, it was beautiful on the, uh, let's see if I could say it right, Pionkatunk River. We headed out to the beach, had a beautiful little beach party, and had the whole place to ourselves. With the exception of a couple locals that dropped in. I'm not here for a long time, but I'm here for a good time. Huey! Well, here I am attempting to do a handstand. It's one of those things I just can't seem to get right. So the captain steps in to show me how it's done. Triangle. Elbows to knees. Nice and wide. Rotate into your hands. Look, my feet are in the air. Let's look. I give it one more shot and, well, almost. Straight up. I guess it's back to doing sit ups and I'll try to conquer this handstand another day. Where were we again? Oh, yeah, that's right. outside our 100 foot radius allowability on our anchor alarm. I got all the electronics turned off on the boat. Helps with lightning strike. I got our computer and phone in the oven. Uh, what else? We cleared the decks. Put out another 15 feet of chain in anticipation for this evening's fun. Uh, I monitor the storm on the radar app just to see. We missed a lot of it, which, knock on wood, the place I wanted to move. What about it? It, got sl it gets slammered. Oh, good. So we are w a more open, but we're just like, just up the way where I wanted to tuck in up there is super getting hammered. Got the engines running, warmed up. Uh, I can kick them in gear just to slow our progress backwards, dragging this anchor. Good, summertime in the Chesapeake, I guess. We're gonna give it a little. Just put it in gear. Help out a little bit. That's it. Hey. We'll That's just all we can do. Stay tuned. That's all we can do with the thunderstorms. Kirby, what do you think about this? Oh my goodness. Are you scared? Up the 
anchor and enjoying a relaxing day. This is the most used bridge in Virginia. We're well, open for you, sir, but we need some information. The registration number, height, width, and length of your boat. 43 long, 25 in breadth. They want all our information to get in here. I'm not sure. Careful, sir. So this is the busiest swing bridge in Virginia. It's open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. But I had to give them the most information I ever had to give anyone to get through a bridge. But this is our first swing bridge. It pivots in the middle, but you can He says he's gonna open for us, we'll see. some oyster beds as we were heading in and decided to see if we could track some down for sale. Instead, we came across What's this big name? guy oh. and his owner. Pub? His, his formal name or his real name, Bowen. Then he has his long breathing name and then he has he goes by Bobo. So he's a, <laughs> you're a super duck dog. Yeah. Wow. Good boy. Doing some research today? Yeah, so uh, we've got a continuous water quality and level monitor here for the hatchery. Beautiful. It turns out this river is one of the largest oyster restoration wow. sites in the United States. Yeah. And the hatchery he's referring to is an oyster hatchery. You can see it here. And it provides young oysters for production, restoration, and research. Over harvesting, pollution, and disease have decimated oyster populations across the world over the last 100 years. The Nature Conservancy and its partners are working to turn the tide in an aggressive effort to restore oyster reefs in the Chesapeake Bay by 2025. Click on the information bar to learn more about their efforts. And so we say goodbye to Gwyn Island as we pass back through the swing bridge one last time to continue our journey north and seek shelter from an approaching hurricane. Join us next time.